What's up, y'all? Welcome to another vlog. Um, what day is it? I don't even know. It's Thursday. I'm very tired. I'm just, I'm not with the today. Just, but I got some happiness in the mail, so that helps. And I'm not even necessarily in a bad mood. I'm in a blah mood. Whatever. We're not going to start the, the vlog off with my emotional roller coaster. Hey, we're going to start the vlog off with a haul, a haul that I am not supposed to be doing because I have already made a purchase from Ulta for November. Mm-hmm. And I was, no, girl, it's October. See, I've already made a purchase from Ulta for the month of October. I was supposed to wait until November to do my next purchase. That didn't happen. They were doing five times the points. Yeah, that's the only ex excuse I had. That's it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all. I've already opened it and I was like, oh girl, this can kind of be a part of a vlog because I haven't been vlogging because I haven't been doing anything but working. <sighs> okay, so let's just go ahead and get into it. First thing, I was a little hesitant about getting this perfume because you know how Ulta will send you those, um, what do you call them? The little advertising books with the coupons and the perfume samples. There's a name for that can't think of it but I know you know what I'm talking about so Ulta sent me one of those and I normally ignore the perfume samples because they're unreliable but for whatever reason the Valentino one stood out to me I smelled it and I was like mmm and I was like girl you've been fooled by these little pieces of scented paper before don't fall for it so this is the Valentino Born Aroma scent mmm yeah and it looks like this i did already i just opened it i tore this little piece trying to pop this bad boy out i had to use a letter opener child was a mess but i uh, i sprayed it on myself to make sure i liked the way it smelled and i do so i'll be sure to put the notes somewhere unless it says it here i doubt it no i don't think it says the notes and it smells really good. I really like this. Hopefully it'll stay on me. But I also tend to put Vaseline on my wrists and on my neck here. And then spray my perfume and pat, not rub. In an effort to make sure the scent stays on. <sighs> so our fingers are crossed. I'm so tired. Next up, did I put it up already? No, but I am wearing it. I was really, really, really excited about the Fenty Holiday newness. And it's so funny because I have not gotten, you know how these new little lipsticks come in these little refill charge sizes? I haven't bought the thing that they actually go in. I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not paying for a case to put the lipstick in. I'll just make sure I keep track. Okay keep track of this so yes it's very tiny but it goes inside of the case of lipstick and then you can twist it up from there to me it's just it's dumb I'm not buying that but this is the shade loud speaker I just wanted to try it on mm. super pretty shade right up my berry red alley so mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they have another one too i think it's called crowd surfer i want to try that one that one looks like it might be a little too dark we'll see but okay you don't have to put it back in there baby it's okay but i'm gonna do it anyway so i have this lipstick from fenty speaking of fenty i could not resist i was so excited about this one right here and i want to go on record as having said she probably wants to sell these individually especially this one i really think this one's going to be a hit remember how i don't know if it's an every year thing or at least in the beginning she came out with some holiday lip colors and like everybody went ape shit and bought the set and the next thing you know she came out with them in minis and then regular sizes again the popular ones are the ones that she tends to sell individually and then the ones that don't really sell just kind of fade in the background. I think Ruby, is it called Ruby Milk? 
or something. I think that was a holiday shade, if I'm not mistaken. All of that to say, I was super excited about this shade here. It's called, I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna have to open it and tell you. But yeah, so this is a gloss bomb. There's a pink one here. And you know, I love Fenty's lip glosses. I have so many. And then there's another one here. Okay, this one's called Fuchsia Flex. This one is Cupcaking. And this one is the Gloss Bomb Heat. Oh, this is the Fenty Glow, but the Heat version. So, okay. Because I was a little worried about this one, but if it's one of the original shades, just a Heat version, then it's fine. All right, so I, these were my main priorities. And then the perfume just kind of happened to find its way into my cart. And then so did these two things. This isn't my first one of this uh, Benefit eyeliner. I've owned a few of these in the past and I do remember liking it. It's just a matte roller liner. It has a very fine tip and it dries matte black. And you know me and my minis, so I just wanted to get another one of these. And I was watching somebody on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, who knows, and they were hyping up the Roller Lash mascara from Benefit. And because, again, I've used this in the past, I was like, oh, well, let me give the mascara a try. Pretty sure I've already tried it before, but it's been so long I forgot. So I got two of these minis. Yep, that's it. So not too bad of a haul from Ulta, but bad enough because again, I was supposed to wait until the first of the month and I could not because I have an addiction. I do. So I'll definitely be playing with those. I have to make a few more public appearances at my job. <laughs> that sounds so terrible because I usually work from home, but best believe when I go in next week, those things, I'm gonna be smelling good. I'm gonna have my liner popping, my lashes, bust in my lips and then yeah it's gonna be good so I'll be putting all of those into effect um I gotta go in on Tuesday and Thursday so I'll do that then but yeah it's so funny how kind of burnt out I am today because I was off on Monday and I kind of think that makes it worse how long have I been talking a while I kind of think that makes it worse because it's like in my mind it should be Friday and it's not Friday it's Obviously, it's only Thursday and I'm mad about it, but at least my day is almost done. I'm just taking a quick little break before I finish working. So, yeah, I just want to check in with y'all and say hey. I'm currently having to re-export my favorites video that is supposed to go up tomorrow because, hold on. too close no it should work on that level though well first off hello happy friday um yeah i'm having to re-export the video because something told me to go back i had already edited it mm. okay let's start again when i can maybe talk like i got some sense okay i had already edited and uploaded the video to youtube set it to premiere everything but something was like, go double check that video. So I did. And at the four minute mark, the audio just stops. I have no idea why. So I went back into the original file. It was playing fine. So I don't know what happened. So now I'm re-exporting the video in hopes that it'll be fine when I try yet again to upload it to YouTube. But yeah, I'm glad I just, I'm, mm, why can't I talk today? I'm glad I looked because I would have been pissed if I would have just went with it without double checking and then y'all would have been like, what happens to your audio? And then, you know what I'm saying? So there's that. Did I say happy Friday? I don't know. It's Friday. Mm -hmm. I've just been working. I'm taking a quick little break. I just um, had some lunch a couple hours ago. Well, no, about an hour ago. <laughs> And yeah, so we're gonna power through the rest of the day. I know I look crazy. That's not what we're here to talk about. I washed my hair the other day and I didn't feel like, mm, I didn't feel like putting any heat or anything on it. So here we are. Um, 
Oh, the whole point of me popping up was because it's gotten kind of sad how when you have an addiction to online shopping, your ears become trained to hear the delivery trucks. So FedEx just left. I was sitting working and I was like, sounds like a delivery truck. And then I look out the window and I see FedEx driving off and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see what I got. Good morning guys, it's 11.45. I've been up since 10.30-ish, but I'm already tired. <laughs> I'm partially kidding. I just left the mall. I had to go pick up my Sephora order. I got some things during the VIB sale and I don't know why I didn't think that like the mall was crowded. And I'm just like, why is everybody at the mall at 11 o'clock in the morning? And then Sephora was crowded. And I'm thinking, why is everybody at Sephora at 11 o'clock in the morning? <sighs> but it's fine, I got my stuff. I had a little bit of a panicky moment. I'm the type of person when you know you have to come get something in store, like have your stuff ready, have your ID ready, have the barcode ready, have your ducks in a row. The line was long, so I figured I had time to figure out what I was doing with my life. Well, I'm looking all up and through the app, trying to find my barcode, because I recall seeing a barcode. It was like, hey, your order's ready. One of the things you wanted isn't in stock, but we got everything else, here's a barcode. So I thought I had time while I was standing in the long line to figure it out. Well, apparently them Sephora workers was like, nah, we about to be like Chick-fil-A up in here. We, we getting just in and out. So all that to say, I couldn't find the barcode. And so by the time I get to the girl, I'm like, girl, I can't find my barcode. And she was like, oh, it's in your email. And I was like, mother. So pull up my email and then I'm panicking because I'm like, ah. And I think I pulled up the email. I think I pulled the email up right the first time. But again, I'm kind of starting to sweat. And um, yeah, so then I start looking through other emails and blah 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 I found my barcode it was fine it really wasn't that deep but I just don't like I don't like not staying not being ready when I'm fully aware that this is why I'm here but then she told me she liked my nails and she asked me where I got them so I referred her to um the nail salon that I go to I forgot to tell her who I go to though but see that's what happens when my mind is like see you should have had your barcode ready you knew you were coming here you were looking in the wrong spot you know what i'm saying these are the conversations that are happening in my head from me to me and i'm like had i not had to have that conversation with myself i would have been like yeah girl ruby will hook you up but yeah i wasn't thinking about it what's going on why i just i just need to know why is you driving like But yeah, um, as y'all, please get out of my way. Please, thank you, baby Jesus. Um, hold on, my thought is coming back. Yeah, so the VIB sale is happening now. I got some things, but I'm not really excited. Can I tell y'all a secret? Makeup doesn't excite me like it used to. I still enjoy wearing it. I still do wear it. I mean, I own, I think it's safe to say thousands of dollars worth of makeup, so I'm gonna wear it. 
but it just used to excite me to do stuff and try stuff and granted I never got crazy with it but moral of the story is it doesn't do that anymore and that makes me kind of sad I'm like oh I need a new high because <laughs> this was my high for years and now I'm like eh, I don't know how to get the spark back so I'll show y'all what I got when I get home but it's prepared to be underwhelmed and this is kind of odd I've been doing more shopping at Ulta than I have Sephora Ulta's been coming through for me and I just I like that they that I, I feel like I'm saving money like right now I got some stuff in my cart and I can get ten dollars off if I spend fifty as opposed to these microscopic what do you call those things samples oh also while I have you real quick um, I'm thinking about doing vlogmas I really need to figure out today is what the fifth I need to commit to whether or not I'm going to do it and if I do I need to start preparing now because I'm kind of going to do like what I did last year which is have either a throwback Thursday or a flashback Friday or maybe not even that but just something where there's at least one day where there's a video up but it's not an actual vlog just to give me a day of relief if you will so but then that means I need to figure out what are those Thursdays or Fridays for what three or four what are those videos going to look like and then obviously pre-record them so it, it takes a lot of planning is the point I'm trying to make so I'm just trying to figure out if I really want to commit to vlogmas one last time go out with a bang you know and I say a bang it's not gonna be a bang but that's that's where my mind is going at this point in time is to do vlogmas do it proud and then fade to black y'all are gonna tell me my hair out here looking like a squirrel's tail oh speaking of squirrels i've been trying to leave some nuts out for the ones that live on the property and i left some out yesterday and they ain't found them yet but i did it earlier in the week and they found them and i could see them digging little holes for them and stuff it was adorable mm, they might not want them now okay so this is what i got from sephora First thing, this is something I like to use for my hair. It's a blow dry concentrate for very unruly. Mm, I don't like these um, descriptions, but it says for very coarse, unruly hair. I don't like that. Extremely blow dry or extreme blow dry manage, girl. Extreme blow dry manageability, intense anti frizz. Um, it's high con highly concentrated argan oil infused blow dry smoother tames even the most unmanageable hair for a polished polished smooth look apparently reading is hard for me today seals and shine and enhances ease of blow dry while providing intense frizz control i got this is a repurchase this stuff isn't cheap hence why i get hence why i get it on the sale what am i trying to say um Obviously, I like to use it when I blow dry. It's repurchase. Um, there was something, there was a thought I had that I can't, it's escaping me. <sighs> but yeah. So, oops. So, we will be using this. Maybe if we can get out of the box. Girl. Okay, I need to go sit down because it's like somebody get my baby out the nets. This is what it looks like, a little oil serum. And yeah, excited to put this back in rotation. I got these Peter Thomas Roth Goodbye Acne Max Complexion Correction Pads. I, it's funny, if I'm not mistaken, I got these from Ulta. Just they were doing, it was part of the 21 Days of Beauty and I got them just because, and I really like them, but they're also really expensive. So, um... Yeah, it has 2% salicylic acid, 10% glycolic acid complex, medicated double-sided soft texture acne pads, anti-aging benefits, pore minimizer, blah, blah, blah. I use these maybe once or twice a week, but again, you only get, you get 60. And again, they're not cheap, so I try to stretch them out. So, and I'm getting, or have one right here because it's almost that magical time. I know this TMI, but yes, I'm getting a pimple now. So these are just in time. And I've been hearing a lot of girls talk about this Sephora Pro Bush, girl. <laughs> this Sephora Pro Bush, 
the Sephora Pro Brush number 50. And so I got it. I kind of feel like I played myself because they had some kind of deal where you could get a 50 and then a 50 and a half for the same price as the 50. And I was like, I don't feel like, uh, I just didn't feel like dealing with it. So, so here we are. But I want to say some of the YouTube, well, I know one of the YouTube girls specifically was talking about this and I feel like I saw it somewhere else and I was just like, okay, I want it. And so I got it. It's a powder brush if you couldn't tell. But I do, there are some things from Sephora that I really like. So we'll see if this is, their brush cleaner is really good. It's a little spray situation. I really like it. Okay. Oh, it's taped. Okay, I ain't in the mood for this. Really quick while I have you, and this will probably be the wrap up of the vlog. This is going to be the most unglamorous blog, vlog. Because I know normally I try to pop up on y'all with a little bit of makeup on or something. And that's just not been, I haven't been going in. To work and you know if I don't go in then I don't go um I don't put on makeup and that lady son been out of town so we ain't been going out you know what I'm saying um but real quick while I have you we just gonna talk TV real quick I heard a lot of people talking about from scratch so I watched that recently I thought I was broken because everybody kept being like oh it's so sad I cried I like boohoo cried I ugly cried and so there were a couple parts where I was like okay I can see how people would cry at this I can see how people would cry at that but I didn't cry cry until the beginning of the last episode so if you've seen the series you might be like well, why didn't you cry at the end of episode seven great question I don't know I just didn't I was like maybe because I I just didn't but then at the beginning of episode eight which picks up from where episode seven left off and I got to see Zoe's like I felt I was like oh I felt that pain before thankfully I, I haven't had anyone whatever but the point is I'm trying not to give spoilers the point is I felt that pain before and so I just like seeing her reaction that I was like yep I've been there mm-hmm yep mm-hmm and so that made like that kind of was like triggering or something I don't know point is I didn't cry to the beginning of episode eight but I do I did like the uh the series and Zoe's husband in real life is Italian so it makes sense that she would play that role because at first I was like I'm a fan but you a black girl from Texas okay um what else I'm all done with House of Dragon I'm still fucking with this brush by the way I'm done with House of the Dragon. I'm thinking about reading the books, but I don't know. It's a lot of books. And then I don't know in order, what order I should read them in. I Googled and they were telling me to read them out of order and I thought that was weird. What else am I, I'm watching Reasonable Doubt on Hulu. I hope it gets renewed. I feel like not a lot of people are talking about it. Like when I go on Twitter after the show and I'm just kind of like, oh, I expected there to be more conversation than this. So I think Reasonable Doubt is a good show. I think they say the N-word too much, which is, you know. But I don't know. I guess there's just like a certain type of audience that I expected it from. But for them to be grown professionals, it almost kind of seems like someone who's not black wrote the script just so they can say it a lot, which I don't think that's the case. <laughs> but it just seems like as much as it said that that's what it's giving. It's giving is giving Quentin Tarantino and Django. Not that bad, but so it's like when I watch it I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start counting how many times y'all say it an episode. And there was one episode I don't think they said it at all and then they made up for the episode after that. Okay, she's soft. But yeah, like none of this stuff got me excited. And you might be like, okay, well maybe it's because you didn't get any makeup. It could be true, but I've been, I got those Fenty glosses. I think I showed y'all those, those, the little holiday kit. I got the Fenty glosses. I got Fenty lipstick recently. I've been getting stuff. And yes, those excite me at the time. I don't know. It's just, it's a weird, I'm just in a weird space with makeup. It's just not giving me that thrill I used to. Girl, get a life. I know. I know.
Hey, why am I here? Um, hold on, let me get my life together. Oh, <clears throat> I'm here because I have too many planners. In my attempt to be a better planner, I've bought a lot of planners to help me plan, but then I'm still not doing a good job. <laughs> So let's do a planner count, shall we? This is planner number one. I like this one because it gives you the week of weekly goals, to-do list, habit tracker. I got this from somebody at one of my old jobs, so I can't tell you where it came from, but it looks like that, so maybe that'll help. But, and as you can see, everything's blank, so you just fill everything in, and your objectives for the day. I'm trying to do that thing where you do three to five things a day that you really want to tackle. So every day, three bullets, I want to say it's Erin On Demand, she has the three, and then Maddie James mentioned taking it up to five at one point. So I try to keep it between three to five things that I want to do a day so that I can feel like I've accomplished something with my life. So there's that. This is the first planner I'm showing you, but it's not the first planner I got. The first planner I got, let me make sure I don't have that trifling out here. Okay. <laughs> and I've been using it to blot. So this is the first planner that I got. I got this off Amazon. I would have liked it better if it came with the cover and just something. But instead, they you just peel these little things off and you just go down. So, this one looks like this. It has the top three. That was the thing that stood out about it to me. <clears throat> I can't, it's, it says Bliss Collections, if that helps you in your Amazon search. So, you write down your schedule for the day, your top three priorities, tasks, water intake, notes, end of day assessment, and I have been using that. And then I, I write down my top three. Like sometimes they real trifling. Like this one says Ulta. Uh, I can't read my cursive backwards. That one says going to the office. What does it say? Pharmacy. Oh, I had to go pick up my drugs for uh, my birth control. But yeah, so those were my top three tasks. And I did almost all of them. I didn't do Ulta. What else did I have? Wash my brushes, go to the chiropractor blah 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 so I could use this every day and I would go through this much faster but if all I'm really focusing on are the top three priorities then that to me is wait it wastes paper so sometimes I use it for multiple days and just like my top three so whatever Wednesday that was those were my top three things for that Wednesday those were my top three I didn't even have a third whatever so that's my first that's the first planner type thing I ever got and this is my most recent planner that I love, but I, if I'm keeping it a buck, I haven't used it. Look at all the black women with their natural hair on here. How cute is this? I got this from Target. And this one is very similar to, I mean, they both, they have, it has things in common with both of them. So... There's a section for your, okay, well, wait, it's the both of them. It's the same on both sides. All right. So, there's a section for the day, your schedule, I guess from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. There's a meal plan, top three priorities, a to-do list, and then notes. So, I don't see me being the person who's going to use the breakfast, the meal plan portion because having to figure out what I want to eat every day, three times a day is annoying. I just need it to, I just, it's annoying. But my point is I have too many planners and I gotta be better about A, planning and B, sticking to the plans once I've set them in place. I think I'm gonna start doing this thing on Sunday, Sunday, yeah, where I just look at my week ahead. Do I have to go into the office this week? If so, what am I gonna wear? Do I need to go get groceries this week? Is this the week where I do my maintenance? If I maintenance hair, wax, brows you know what i'm saying and just kind of like planning ahead because i really don't do anything until the day of and then i'm kind of scrambling and that's not at all how i personally like to operate in my life 
and by that I mean scrambling last minute planning I don't like that but then I often put myself in that situation so there's that but the moral of this rant was to show you my planners and to show you that I have too too many I just need one planner and to stick with it so I guess what I'll probably do is since again this one is the first one that I got maybe like a year or two ago because I've, I've ripped off several of the prior pages so I think what I'll do is just go through this one and then move on to this one and then eventually get to my black lady natural hair one which is kind of like girl you just bought that and you probably ain't gonna get to it till 2023 well no it's not probably it's definite so I just want to do a better job of planning my life out and just or at least my day-to-day -day activity so I won't feel so unprepared it's Monday I'm trying to declare that it will be a good week if for no other reason than Wakanda Forever comes out on Friday and here's where I get confused the movie comes out on Friday but I'm going to go see it on Wednesday or I'm sorry I'm gonna go see it on Thursday and I'm just kind of like how is that possible but then I'm also like, don't ask questions. They had tickets for that day. You bought tickets for that day. And hopefully you bought them like it wasn't a scam. I bought them on the Regal app. So hopefully that should be fine. My nose is. Yeah, it's that time of year where my nose just runs because I'm cold. So yeah, all of that to say I got everything. I got it off the Regal app so it should be legitimate. It just gives me pause that they made ticket purchases available before the movie releases and like I can physically go and see it and I'm just kind of like definitely going to be wearing my mask in there because not only do we have to be worried about C-19 apparently the flu shot is flu shot or not the flu shot the flu season is flu seasoning and a lot of people are getting flu and I ain't got time I got my booster last month September I don't remember but I've gotten my booster and I've gotten my flu shot so hopefully but at the same time, I ain't taking no chances. So I am definitely going in the theater wearing my mask the entire time. And I'm taking tissue because I'm fully prepared to ugly cry behind my mask. But yeah, all of that to say, we're just declaring that it's going to be a good week off of that alone. What else is going on? Oh, I neglected to mention this the other day about shows I'm watching. I'm also watching Love is Blind. And I think that finale is coming up. This week, next week, not exactly sure, but I've, I've been watching that as well. Just random shows I'm talk, uh, watching since we're here. But okay, I've been rambling on long enough. This vlog is going to be nothing but me. Well, I was going to say this vlog is going to be nothing but me rambling, but that's all my vlogs, isn't it? Hey, real quick, I got to get this thought out while it's in my mind or I will forget. Here's what I'm thinking, and y'all let me know what I think. What y'all think if you've gotten it, if you've gotten this far into the video, let me know what you think about this. I'm considering keeping the same format as last year, as I mentioned, Flashback Fridays. I do not plan to do it the first Friday because that's literally the start of Vlogmas. Vlogmas will start on a Thursday, so I don't want to start the first Friday off doing some throwback stuff. Feel me? Okay. So my thought process is one of those Fridays, either the 9th of December, the 16th, or the 23rd, or Saturdays I'm still trying to figure my days out but my point is I'm considering doing a live I've never gone live on my channel before for good reason but I'm thinking about doing that again because the, the object is to go out with a bang so go live here's my concern with going live what the what are we gonna talk about I, I don't have a subject so I don't really know and also if I'm keeping it a buck I have this deep fear that I'm gonna be live and ain't nobody gonna be there so let me know what your thoughts are about that is there a better a date are fridays better are saturdays better because my thing is i'm trying to keep it like throwback thursday flashback friday that's my reasoning for that also because i don't know it just makes sense in my mind so yeah that's my fear of being live and two people watching and that's just because y'all being nice and then one person gonna drop off and then we just looking at each other like this and then that person's gonna drop off and then I'm talking to myself and then I'm gonna feel dumb for having gone live in the first place. So, yeah, y'all let me know what you're thinking. But I do feel over the past couple of days, I have been talking a lot. So I'm gonna end the vlog 
for now. It's Monday the 7th. Yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog for now. I might pick it up later in the week for it to be a throwback in December. We'll see. It's just a lot of me talking. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna go take a walk because I told somebody, I, I'm doing so much talking, I'm forgetting what I'm saying to who. And by that, I mean, sometimes I'm talking to actual people, sometimes I'm talking to y'all, and then I forget what I've said to who. But my point is, it's unseasonably warm. Look at this. 80 degrees. So I'm gonna go take a walk, get some air and get some steps in. So all of that being said, I'm wrapping the vlog up for now. Thank you for watching if you stuck around this long. And until my next one, I'll holla at you. Bye.